The Life and Sad Ending of Tatum O'Neill. Tatum O'Neill was born Tatum Beatrice O'Neill on the 5th of November in 1963 in Los Angeles, California, in the United States. She is known to be an emotionally deprived child. Her parents, Ryan O'Neill and Joanna Moore, were both successful film actors. She also had a younger brother, Griffin, born a year later. In 1967, her parents divorced, after which her father remarried Lee Taylor Young. The marriage ended in divorce in 1973. At the age of 10, Tatum O'Neill made her film debut in the 1973 American comedy Paper Moon, which she appeared alongside her father. Despite their troubled relationship off-screen, the father-daughter connection was much loved by the audience. For her brilliant performance, Tatum O'Neill won three awards, including an Oscar, making her the youngest person in history to win the award. Paper Moon, a 1973 American comedy drama which was directed by Peter Bogdanovich, was the first film in Tatum O'Neill's career. The film, which she adapted from a novel by Joe David Brown, starred her along with her father when she was only 10 years of age. It received mostly positive reviews. In The Bad News Bears, in a 1976 American sport comedy, which was one of O'Neill's early works, it was another significant movie of her career. Directed by Michael Ritchie, it starred actors such as Walter Matthau, Vic Morrow, Joyce Van Patten, and Ben Piazza. The film was a commercial success, and it received mostly positive reviews. Two sequels to the film were also released named The Bad News Bears and Breaking Training and The Bad News Bears Go to Japan in 1977 and 1978, respectively. Throughout the years, she appeared in several other films, such as International Velvet and The Little Darlings. Meanwhile, she also started doing minor roles in television, making her first appearance in the episode of Fair Tell Theater. And then in the CBS special, School Break Special. She made very few movie appearances in the late 1980s. She appeared in the lead role of the 1985 action movie, Certain Fury, playing the role of a street kid who works as a prostitute to support herself. However, the film failed to do well and received mostly negative reviews. Later, she also appeared in The Little Noises in a 1992 movie where she played a major role. The story focused on an unsuccessful writer who rises to fame after stealing the works of a deaf man which makes the latter fall into a depression. Another one of O'Neill's major works was her appearance in the 2002 romantic drama The Scoundrel's Wife, directed by Glenn Pitrie. The movie starred O'Neill in the lead role, along with Julian Sands, Tim Curry, and Lacey Chabaret. The story takes place during the time of the Second World War. It most, mostly focuses on the life of a woman who is suspect to the saboteur and is living with two children in a small village. She played the lead role in the television series Wicked Wicked Games, the show which starred airing in 2006 about a woman named Blythe Hunter, whose boyfriend left 25 years ago. The story focuses on trying to seek vengeance with the help of her two sons. Along with O'Neill, the show stars actors such as Clive Robertson, David Smith, and Jesse Ward. Autobiography in 2004, her autobiography, A Paper Life, O'Neill alleged that she was molested by her father's drug dealer when she was 12. She also alleges physical and emotional abuse from her father, much of which she attributed to drug use. She also detailed her heroin addiction and its effects on her relationship with her children. Her father denied allegations. In a prepared statement, Ryan O'Neill said, It is a sad day when malicious lies are told in order to become a bestseller. Refers to the love story. In 1970s, Tatum O'Neill dated the famous American pop star Michael Jackson, who had described O'Neill as his first love. She later married the well-known tennis player, John McEnroe, with whom she had three children. However, they divorced eight years later, because of her addiction to drugs, McEnroe was given custody to the children. Various problems in the O'Neill's personal life had got her addiction to drugs. She was arrested in 2008 for drug possession. After her release, she decided to attend a drug treatment program. 
The next decade, she made several significant appearances on television, including a role for a firefighter drama, Rescue Me, which ran aired from 2005 to 2011. She also played the leading role in 2006 TV show Wicked Wicked Games, co-directed by several directors such as Terry Cunningham and Dennis Dimster. The story was about an obsessive woman's vengeance against her ex-boyfriend. She made an appearance in the 2010 American drama film The Runaways, the film which was directed by Flora Sigmund Mondi, revolved around the 1970s rock band of the same name. It received mostly positive reviews. The same year, Tatum O'Neill also appeared in the lead role of mystery drama the film named Last Will. In 2011, she appeared in Ryan and Tatum the O'Neill's It was a reality show about O'Neill and her father's effort to mend their relationship after a long period of silence of 25 years. The show had eight episodes and ran for two months. Her latest appearance in film was in 2014 in the American comedy She's Funny That Way, in which she appeared as a cameo. That's what happened with Tatum O'Neill. It's really sad, but that doesn't mean forever. Trust me, always be optimistic. Everything will be different. It will be much better.